Am I on? <laughs> now you are. <laughs> I wasn't ready, and he's suddenly going, oh, it's on. Okay, welcome. It's usually Karen is saying, Tim, come on, let's Would go. get in here and get today it's going? the opposite. We're running late. Yeah, today I'm See? trying to hook up my mic. So, uh, uh, Tim, speaking of mics, you could... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Tim isn't ready either. You know, give me a break. It's not just me. <laughs> so... Okay. Let's start over. Hi, this is Tim. And Karen from Stepping on the Back. And we're mic'd. <laughs> and we should be ready. And we are going to do something we've done a few times recently where we're going to take one idea for a fun pull card and then we're going to make several all How the same. How embarrassing with people on. And oh. <laughs> yeah, Tim is easily embarrassed. So, so I put out um, what you might want to have if you want to create along with us. And of course, I typed it wrong and get all these responses. Do you mean this, this? I said 14 inches instead of one fourth. <laughs> That'd be one mighty long piece of designer series paper. So. I wish I had secretarial skills because I could take care of this woman. I will tell you in a minute, but first, first we just wanted to chat a bit. Yesterday was Veterans Day, <laughs> and we, we, you know, well, we went to have two meals out because, you know, there are these free meals for vets. So at noon we went out. Oh, and coffee. Oh, three meals. Okay. Pizza. Okay. Karen Brown. Oh, yeah. okay. so, so we have leftovers today. Actually, that was pretty fun. But the first meal, we ate in the car. And I said we were pretending we were on a road trip like we used to be able to do. That's right. <laughs> because it was really cold here. It was really bright and beautiful. So it was nice in the and car. But you want to be. Yes. All the way down to Egan, where Karen's mom lives. So we dropped stuff off at her place. Yeah, so we brought her a goodie bag and a little treat. And then we, we ate in the car and just talked about how life used to be and will be again someday. But it it it, it was just really fun, just kind of thinking about doing that. And I should have counted again, like close to a thousand <laughs> views. I don't know. I don't know. Hundreds Susan's watching hundreds from his photos. <laughs> from my, my Facebook post on Karen's face. face yeah. on her, <laughs> and on your I personal mean? page. And my personal page. And I got more than I've ever gotten on my personal page. I don't usually get more than, you know, like 80. I think I'm like up to 250 or something like that. And But Karen's always... And the been, most fun thing always blows you up. got to do yesterday afternoon. My kids... Well, my kids are, none of them are military, and I'm military, and I come from a military family, so it's really important to me. Um, but my daughter in Chicago said that her kids, I have three grandkids in Chicago. Her, oh, they're three, six, and nine. Yep. They wanted to hear from Grandpa about being in the Army and about Veterans Day. So that was so cool. So we yeah. got together on a FaceTime, mm -hmm. FaceTime, and I... We ended up talking about helicopters because I lived on a on a hill, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and the only way you could get to it is to go down to the helipad and hitchhike on a helicopter. And I got to ride on all kinds of different helicopters, in, in including the little the little spotter one that would fly just above the rice paddies and was like a bubble. So the kids, of course, love that. So Love that. then he sent him pictures so of I, kind of what so they I were like. So Googled a bunch of, cool. I got, yeah, I, I got a bunch of pictures of helicopters from Vietnam era and told him which ones I flew, flew in and rode in. Okay. It was fine. Yeah. Yep. Now that's, yes. That's, that's, I got okay. to keep talking. There's more. M move, moving on to There's crafting. Or he can no. tell you his stories, you know, okay. all day long. Um, but what, what I else can he I needs tell to you? get his own channel. It could be story time with Tim or something, you know. That, you know, that, that would be. <laughs> Tim's, Tim's tales. Tim's tales. Tim's tall Tim, tales, maybe. Tim's tall tales, yes. <laughs> so, a um, couple of quick reminders, and then we're going to get into today. So, the. I guess I'm done. Guess the card kit of the month is the In the Pines. This is one of them. I seriously <laughs> thought I ran the show. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh, you just call yourself the executive producer. You know, okay. So it just sounds good. But So do we have any Timothy Says Good? What is it? Uh, we, don't, we don't have any new ones. I'm just going to read one, one before, at least that I've caught up on. But, you know, I get a little behind. So this is. Um, Tim Says. I've got to do that, Tim Says. Tim Says, good job for CAT scan x-ray unit. Okay, got the the job you would never so want to have him do. That's so impressive. <laughs> and um, tomorrow night starts the 
it's this month's All Good Cards Club. So if, if you want to join the still room, it's $15 a month. Or you can just take one class and it costs more. But um, I got a little carried away. I just posted the supply list in the group so that people, you know, you cut your own. We're doing eight projects. You know, I was creating these gift card holders kind of over time. And I just didn't realize how many I had created and set aside for the class. So we're going with all eight. I think it's a little over. But some of them are really quick and easy. So anyway, we'll have a good time. I nope. wanted her to cut down to four and just do another class <laughs> a month from now with the other four. I, I don't know if I did that. Maybe I just should have him plan a class, you know. But um, So uh, we have no cards to share today. So that's really, None. That's really unusual. So we're going to move into what we're going to do today. Yesterday was a no mail day because of Veterans Day. So we had a whole one less day. To get and there might have been. Today's mail hasn't come. So. Yes. So there's two days. <laughs> so what I said, if you want to do, create along with us today. Here are the correct measurements. You just need a piece of cardstock. <laughs> these are the correct measurements. Yes, these are the correct ones. Not in person. That you usually give four them. inches by 12, and then a quarter sheet of cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you're going to use get two pieces of designer series paper. So you're just gonna coordinate. I always start with the designer series paper and then we're gonna coordinate. So these are gonna be three and three quarters wide and then one will be two and three quarters and two and a half. Now, I will repeat these measurements a few times as I'm creating these cards, so don't worry about it. Everything is also on my blog tomorrow. So I'll have all the measurements, all the cards in person. But I wanna show you what you're gonna to make today. Because sometimes it's fun. And what we're going to do is that we're, we're showing, I think, five with five new designer series papers so that I, I was able to get early. So I'm going to do those kind of from scratch. And then I'm going to do a few more, finish up some cards with some current. So you, you don't have to wait for new papers for the ideas. But I always love it. This is the card that started it. This is a card I showed Monday night. And it's from Lisa Schmid, who's one of my downline. And you will find her at the Stamper Studio on Facebook. She does a bunch of lives there. She's got a lot of fun things. So go check her out at the Stamper Studio. And I love it when people comment on cards and think, oh, this would be fun to do. And notice how this opens like this. So isn't that fun? So this is the card layout we're going to do. And we're going to do it in... Uh, variety of styles. Oh, to, to find my blog, all you ever need to do is just go to KarenTitus.com. You have two choices, KarenTitus.com or StampingOnTheBackPorch.com. They both go to the same place and that's my blog. That's also where you want to go to sign up for my newsletter. You know, I'm getting so many comments. You guys are loving the 12 weeks of Christmas. That comes out. That's an extra thing that comes out on Wednesdays. There have been great, great projects in that. You get that automatically if you subscribe to my newsletter. So you don't want to miss anything. So KarenTitus.com is where it's at. So a thank you to Lisa and we will get started. And so along the way, we can look at some of the new papers. All right. Are we going to turn this down? Yes. Okay. So we're going to do, start with the first one and we're going to do the same paper that Lisa used. I had to make a little more space here. Oh, we have beautiful new papers. So this is this new, uh, I don't know, is it Dragonfly Gardens? I don't even know what it is, but look at this gorgeous paper. This one, you actually use the punch to cut out, but these are just really fun. And this, one thing fun about this set is it uses so many different colors. So here will be our first card. So I have chosen, I have Bumblebee and Mossy Meadow taken right from there. What do you need? Uh, oh, I need the scoreboard, which is on the... Uh, on I, the can I walk that far? Table out there. I'm not sure. No, he can I can't. Walk there. No, he can't. I He's out in the other room. He's got to unhook his mic. <laughs> we should have. We should Which have. is how we do it. So while he's while he's saying that, I should have written this out. And you know what? Why don't I write this out while we're waiting for Tim? Four by eleven. Okay. Okay. You want your the, scoreboard this is, and what table is it on? on the main table, you'll see it, you can't miss it. I was there working and I still, I'm so attached to my s scoreboard. I know I can use, I have my paper cutter here and I know I can use that, but you know, old habits die hard sometimes. So, and then these will be, so this is what we can do when we stall. Three and three fourths by two and one half. 
and and this way you can get a screenshot if you are but otherwise just know that they'll be on my blog tomorrow oh and Tim found it mm -hmm. okay so, these oh I had a card that I never finished <laughs> it's because I was listening to a live training and I guess time just got away from me totally um, something totally different and <laughs> so one thing I want to point out if you notice I was talking about going a quarter inch down so this is four and a quarter wide. This is going to be our base. And we've gone down to four inches wide and then down to three and three quarter inches wide. So I think when you see that, so hopefully you got that. You can always screenshot it. But visually, when you notice, you can just see how they've each gone down a quarter inch, which is just kind of a fun way to look at it. Okay, so now we are going to take the catalog, you can start ordering from in January. I'll get them in December and send them out. Demonstrators can order in December, so if you're really anxious, you can get the starter kit and do it early. But I will put a link to where I send the catalogs out free. If you're currently working with another demonstrator, ask that person for your catalog. If you're not, I love to send them out free. I would love to add you to the list. So I will just put that. And again, here's an easy way to remember. You just go to KarenTitus.com and across the top there will be a thing that says free catalogs. <laughs> so I guess that's easy. Um, but yeah, so I'm collecting names now. So I will send them out as soon as I get them. And here's a little tidbit. I'm sending a, a, a fun little card idea. In, in with the catalogs, so that'll be fine. And if you've ordered for me within six months, you don't need to fill that out, you are automatically on the list. So now I'm putting this on my scoreboard and I'm going to score at three inches and eight and a quarter. Now here's gonna be an easy way to remember this. I could pick any number here, so I have three because I'm copying Lisa's pattern, but just know I could pick something else. I can fold that, put it up, and I know that my next layer needs to be five and a quarter because that is what's going to fit inside my card. So does that make sense? Because that's a quarter inch smaller than the five and a half because I've just created this next layer. So I just love that, and I love that you can make them a little different if you like. Okay, so then I am going to put in... I'm going to go ahead and attach this. I'm just going to push this down. Oh, so good to see so many of you on here today. This is awesome. And I need to send a couple of these cards out to someone who comments here today. I think that's always fun to pick that. So I will just message a couple of people and ask for your address. And if you don't get them in the next month, you can just call in the <laughs> Where's my card? <laughs> Well, Tim was supposed to take that to the airport. Okay, so I do have white insides, but I forgot them. Oh, and do you like this look? This is when you want it to be really I'm, off-centered. I'm going to take mine and look at, get one. Um, mine's, no, mine's, mine's already attached. I did not mean to do this, but we're going to live with it. In fact, I'm going to create it as part of my design <laughs> because <laughs> I'm not going to try to dig it off, but look at that. You have white cups. Um, I think we'll get some. No. It's really okay. Now I'm just going to choose because now I can really have either one um, cross over in the other. So I think that's just another thing that that's really fun. But you can see I have my wider. Okay, I have the two different. Okay, that one's going to fit on there. And this is going to fit on here. So. I'm going to put that right there. And again, this is the kind of card I could use just the same paper and make a whole variety of cards. Change up the papers, the colors, and they're all going to look different. Uh, something was on my table here. I'll erase it later. I will put that on. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to put these way over on the side over here to kind of skew it. But see, I missed that too. I don't multitask very well. When we're all done, I'm sure I'll peel this off and put a proper back on, you know, because I just can't live with that. And I will erase this little thing. Okay. All good. <laughs> so now I'd like to know who's making theirs with me. And now just notice I can have this go either way. I could have also switched it and had it have gone this way. So, you know, just however you want to do this. So I am going to put this on. I love this 
This is from the stamp set, one of the words. It says, you're an inspiration. I think that's just really a fun message to send to somebody. And then I'm going to take glue dots, because I love to give these a little depth here. Whoa, a little dimension here. We're going to add a. This is. So now I'm going to curve up the wings. And this is one of the ones I punched out from there. But isn't that pretty? I think what a pretty style of cards. And then you open it and you just visualize white in here. The others will have white. Okay, so here is card number one. Oh, and look, so she has different papers and a different thing. Isn't that fun? Mm. So you can see how you can use the same things. The same paper is the same stamp set, and you can still well, have a wide yeah. variety of different colors. She, she has two layers. Yeah, she added another she layer, and ribbon. she cut her thing. Yep, she added she totally different things, added a stamp. Different she guys. spent, yeah, Tim, you're just letting me know, she spent a lot more time on her card. you got to see it. Yeah. <laughs> and when I'm live, yeah, you don't want me to spend too much time. <laughs> I get a little. <laughs> okay, the next set of papers. Oh, my goodness, this is the most amazing set of papers. It is the fine arts paper. It's part of the it's an art gallery series. These are all these were hand painted and then photographed. You can see I'm using bits and pieces off of these. I don't have any extras of this right now. And then turned into papers. And they are all just gorgeous. And the back side has these. Oh, and I was using, I used the stamp set that goes with this, and I stamped on one of these softer colors right here and made a card. I'm putting up uh, videos that are really short, between two and five minutes each day for this month, showing some, some new project with this. So if you don't follow me on YouTube, you'll want to just go check that out. I'll put a link below, but I'd love to have you see those. These videos get re-uploaded there. You don't need to watch those again. But the short little videos are the extra thing I do there. So again, I'm going to take my four and a quarter by 11. Oh, thank you for sharing, Marilyn. I just love it to read that people share. I'm going to score it at three inches and eight and a quarter. And now, if I'm going to make a bunch of these cards, I'm going to cut all of it, and then I'm going to sit and score them all. We're doing these one at a time for this first three, just so you've seen it enough times. What happened to my whites? Tim, you might see some whites just sitting on the table. I thought I had whites out for everything. I thought I was really ahead of the game because it just looks nice when you have the inside finish too. And this time, okay, so on this one I have the shorter end coming down. This time I'm gonna have the longer end coming down just because we're going for variety. So that means these are gonna be my my two pieces. Aren't they pretty? I'm using the softer backgrounds. And look what I cut out. Like these? Yeah, thank you. This one has stick. That's stuff okay. It. It, paper is two sides. Yeah, so do do? I'll just I'll just use the slide that looks better. <laughs> but isn't this pretty? I just I did fussy cut this out, but I think that's just really a fun fun. Well, as long as this is a little sticky there, let me use this as my scratch pad in case I get any of this out of the way. <laughs> How do you get a catalog? Yes, just go to. Thank you for asking that. Just go to karentitus.com and at the top you'll see free catalogs. Just click there and you can request for right now. If you don't have a catalog, you want the ones right now. You can also just request, it'll let you decide if you need the big catalog right now and the holiday, or if you just want to wait and get on the list because all you need is the the new the new mini catalog coming out. Totally your choice. And then I am going to add this. I just think this is really fun. Keep this here. So I appreciate it. Ask me any questions. I am always good. But isn't that gorgeous? It is. Okay. And now we're gonna put one on the inside just to show the difference. And after this, I may not even mess with the insides if I don't have them done. I think you should, because I went all oh. the way out. Oh, 
to your workroom. To I, I, I better use them up. Yes. <laughs> but I thought, again, that is just, I think, a lovely card. Okay, so now we're going to switch. <laughs> LaVar says she just looked outside and it's a blizzard. Oh, it is here too. It's actually gorgeous out, but it's really, really coming down. And it's a perfect day to be inside crafting. Okay, we have another floral paper next. These are the papers that I could pre-order. Karen and I Everybody. went for a walk before. Yep. It Tim said, Tim says, Karen, let's get out and go for a walk because it's just starting in there. Okay, we got to put that one. That we have a... Okay, so this is free paper that you can get in January and February with a $50 order. And look how fun this is. <laughs> look at the back sides. The... Anyway, it's just a great, I missed one, one in here, I think. This one. Anyway, those are really fun. And you're going to notice I took this paper and I cut out. A lot of times if I'm doing this for Thursday, I don't want to take the time to do all the stamping. I actually like fussy cutting. Do you guys? And you know that trick to fussy cutting is to hold your paper still and move your paper. I mean, I cut out kind of the area I want and then just do it that way. Hold What's that? Scissors. Hold your yes. scissors still. <laughs> I need an interpreter. Yes. Okay. But do you see how I'm doing that? And I like to fussy cut while Tim likes to watch TV. So in the evening, if I'm ready to settle in, that, that's why you end up seeing me do plenty of fussy cut. So this card is going to be very similar to the last one. But different. But different because we have different colors. Of course, I need to find them. So look at the colors I've chosen. These, again, are from this paper pack. I've chosen these sides. But look at these fun ideas. This is, the, this is the last one I'm going to score. So last time we're scoring. After that, I'm just going to whip some together. So again, it's 4 and a quarter by 11, and we're going to score at 3 and 8 and a quarter. Fold that, and we have a perfect size to put on our base card. But notice how quickly these really come together. I'm doing a set of these for a card swap that I'm doing. Okay, and then we'll do an inside here. So we'll put that on the inside. And on this one, the ones I finished, I'll put a picture. I have a bunch of these finished. I cut out another flower and put on the inside in here mm -hmm. from the same pack. So, you know, just kind of a finishing touch. And then again, I can just... Okay, th these aren't going to matter which way they go. Because they're just designs. So we'll do that one. And then we'll do this one. So notice because we didn't cut this shorter, you know, on a typical gate fold, these would meet in the middle. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. The whole purpose of this one, we made it smaller and then it's going to overlap. So that's what gives it just a little different look as a fun fold. So I just love seeing all the little variations you can do. Now I'll put these on. And then with this one, I can decide, do I like the yellow on top or, can Tim, I, I'll let you decide. Can I vote? Yes. Which way do you like on top? Oh, I think it's the other way. Okay. And I think when I was making it for swap, I did some of each. So it's, <laughs> it's all just kind of fun that you can mix and match. Now, this has patterns on this side. And so when you open it, you're going to see the back of this. The first one I made, I had it all kitty womp, kitty wampus, and then I thought, ooh, I like the look better if it's straight. So the cool thing is, it's not going to really matter where I put it, but I'm just going to make it so it, when you open it and see it, that looks like part of the design, and you close it up, and you have this mm. lovely card. Isn't that like fun? Hey, <laughs> now. Primarily, look at how that one matches. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It's it's just it is a you very made, nice. Made the right decision. And I love both of these cards. And look how one looks much more um, artistic. This is more like an artsy. This is more like a fun contem contemporary look. And this is a little more of a I don't know a softer. I just love they're both. They're just very different. But I just love them both. And now let's do a masculine card. 
This time we're taking, oh my goodness, I like this paper. Well, I love plaids. So now notice these. We're going to have some plaids in here, some stripes. And we'll flip the sides and look at all these colors. This goes with the handsomely suited. They're dies in a stamp set. You can make uh, suit jackets, ties, all, all kinds of cool things. I thought that was herringbone, but I don't think it is. No, but it, look, it looks like a suit kind of thing, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. I actually made a card out of the set, and that's going to be going on YouTube um, like about an hour after this is done. So if you do go follow me, you'll see a card made out of this. So anyway, this is what we're using here. So now to make this, I already have this one scored. And I'm going to do this. And I picked some of the brighter colors. Tim, do you remember when you had a suit jacket kind of in this color? <laughs> we look back on it back. Um, my brother Tom got married. Yes, and he got married three months before us. And <laughs> Tim had a suit coat. It was, I don't know, it was almost this bright. I got me think, oh my goodness, look at the styles. I had a prairie dress, of course, that I made at the time. And <laughs> it's just pretty funny. You got married on your birthday, so it was like three weeks before. Our marriage lasted, his didn't. <laughs> He didn't last very long at all, but he used to call me every day on my birthday because he'd never forget my birthday because it was the anniversary of his, of his wedding. So I thought that was pretty funny. But I could expect a call. Also, they also met each other on New Year's Eve <laughs> and got married in May. Yeah, so. Five months later. So. Okay. So, but how cool is this? And so to add this card, look at I'm going to add a fun tie. Listen, Isn't that just a totally it. fun look? I'm just going to add some right here and then I can say anything inside. Now notice this is die cut. This isn't stamped. There are stamps to go with it too, but this is part of the... I did this part first and I thought I had to go for it with a really plain looking tie. Tim collects Jerry Garcia ties, is yep. it? Um, yeah, so yeah. lots and lots of colorful yeah. ties. So that would be fun to do some cards mm -hmm. just looking for patterns that look more like that. But this one is kind of a wild background <laughs> and a subdued tie. <laughs> but I think, how cool is that? And again, a totally different look. And now it's Tim's turn. He's going to show the last of the new papers. And then I'm going to share some with current papers. Okay. So I gave Tim a head start. I already put his things together. And the paper he's using, <laughs> I will just show here, is another. It's all um, ombre paper. You know, it goes from light shade to dark in all these colors, and we've got the solids, and then the circles, and then all these different colors. Ombre. So, mm -hmm. you, oh, yes. side over. I was just side. sitting on the paper. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, I just making room. Okay, now, <laughs> this is actually, <laughs> even for a colorblind person, I don't think these match. I don't know, do they? Maybe I can cover them up with these things. Yeah, you're, you're going to cover it. It's, okay. just, it's just a theme, you know. So, oh, okay. Do you want to use this or glue? Do you want to keep struggling with this today? I'll or would try. you rather? I'll okay. Try, since you're so sold on it. It's just getting it started is always the. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh, see? Didn't last long. <laughs> okay. Small and then you just have to decide if, is that, if that's a smaller one. Yep, then that's going to go there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I do not know how Karen does this. <laughs> Sometimes she doesn't. <laughs> All right. It's looking good. And Diana's saying she's starting to love some of the plaids that she's been using. I Yeah, oh. I love plaids. Papers, it's just a different... Oh, see, in plaids, go Tim's shirt. He's got a plaid shirt on, so... I don't think I have a plaid. <laughs> That's not plaid, is no, it? Well, kind of. It's, good. it's a little better. <laughs> you know, it, it, the the other option you could ask your assistant to do the taping, and then you assemble. Ooh, so just yes. know that you have and then, lots of options here. <laughs> when it's all said and done, and the the feedback start com coming in, people will yeah, say, "Someone's asking." Mm -hmm. people, well, people will say, "Just Tim, you really didn't do your fair share." You know, you got to. <laughs> yes, this is a die cut and a stamp that. Mm, goes together. Okay. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now then which this. way do you want to do that? <laughs> oh, oh, I guess I can, can I? Uh -huh. I thought, <laughs> which way? <laughs> yeah, let's put it upside down. <laughs> I'm going to go this side. <laughs> I 
I don't know how you became attached to this. Because <laughs> it doesn't attach any to anything else. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Okay, now I'm going to put this back up so yes, we can see, Tim. You should. So you can show them how it is. Now. And if you look around. No, just wait. I'm going to. Just wait. No, I'm just gonna, wait here. I'm going to do this myself. Okay. 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 Oh, there. we got to back up. Okay. Kind of plain. Plain Jane, you know. So I need to find something. But I'm going to look around and find something that I can use as an accent for this. And in the nice browns. What, what could I find that is in the nice browns? Any ideas? Any ideas? Wow, look at this. <laughs> I've got a bunch of moose. Yes, that's traveling. On the mirror. <laughs> okay. We, so who's it from? We have to tell you guys. Shirley Hendricks made Herrix made this comment. She said, You should make a line of the moose on your mirror and you would find them quickly for your next project. Because <laughs> if any of you remember, Sharon Stamka sent us this card. And he opened it, and out came all these moose. So here they are. <laughs> because we had one moose that kept going from project to project. <laughs> so I thought that was just too fun to... <laughs> too fun so to here we that. are. <laughs> what do you think? See, that looks nice. Now, now do you like the suede like look it. with it? It looks good. <laughs> I do. It is very nice. I spit on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I'm going to send this to somebody and I spit on it, so don't even, don't even pick it up. Okay. So, okay. Now, what else are we going to do? I have a couple more cards. Oh, you? Yeah, I'm going to put down. I, oh, my goodness. I, I didn't want people to this think. Was, <laughs> what's that? This was a, That's a great moose. This was a comedy interlude. <laughs> we thought that was such a great idea to line them all up there, so now it's part of our decor. And if you ever just need, you know, a last minute thing, just grab right there. Yes. I wanted to make sure that you didn't think you had to wait for the new papers because, of course, this is a great one to do. Anyway, you just take your different papers. My, oh, I think probably my, I have to figure out if I do the right one here. I think my favorite, well, but I say that about a lot of things, but one of my very favorite DSP is definitely the Whale of a Time Bundle. So I'm putting these sea turtles on the top. Karen gives me a lot of grief because I always say that this is one of my favorite artists, you know, one of my favorite musicians. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I say that about Sam, so you're right. That. <laughs> but here she is. This is say, oh, I think this this person's the best, you know, and, I, and I'll tease him back and say, how many best, you know, can there be? <laughs> but it does depend on the day, doesn't it? And then look what I'm going to put on top. You're kind of a big deal. I think that is so fun. I'm just going to put a little right there and put that on. And now this would be a fun one. I could cut out another little accent and put on here. That would be perfect on this. But it's not just cute. And then, of course, we always have uh, the playful pets. They're just always fun. So let's do a base for these. And again, let's see, we'll do the this one right here. And then we'll do this one on top. So now you know, over in the Back Porch Stampers, and you guys want to go join there if you haven't already. That is my Facebook group. It, it's free. You just go request to join. You will see all week a whole bunch of cards done like this. It is so fun because, and that's really how my classes run too, but I love to just share an idea and then have everybody... Post their ideas. And you don't need to even use stamping up paper. It is it is just uh, ideas. This is an idea to run with. Isn't that fun? And he just looks like, oh, yeah, there's something good coming here. And then we can add a little. <laughs> Rebecca says her four-year-old Shih Tzu is snoring so loud just to turn the volume up. Okay, here's a card for the. <laughs> that is pretty funny. And then one more. <laughs> I started this one, and let's so, let's see. Yes, we'll, we'll put these things on. This is the flowers for all seasons. Whoops! Oh, let's see. I want the flowers to show more. So, see, I'll just quick midair make a switch. 
and that's what's just pretty fun and I'll add this one <laughs> and so I got sidetracked with the straining and forgot to get I thought I would just do words on here so I'll do up and down words so you'll, you'll see it on my blog tomorrow um, but how fun is this so we have all these different cards and I will put up links to where you get free catalogs to where you join the back porch stampers you can share your ideas and uh, Tim, I'll let you put your moose card on the top. Yes, it's a good idea. And then we'll have fun doing this, and we'll see a bunch of you in class tonight. That's the all good, I mean, tomorrow night. That's the All Good Cards Club. And okay, actually, and then Tim's? I gotta actually say that you inspired me. Okay. See this? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, look at that! <laughs> They're walking towards each other. <laughs> so <laughs> that was very fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this. And I do go back and read all the comments. It's hard to just sometimes keep up with all this, but thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the snow or the weather or anything you have at yours. <laughs> at your end. I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs>